Excuse me, I guess we are? What are we doing? <gasps> oh no! There was something off about her. She's not really a her at all. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering now how I got in this mess to begin with. As a matter of fact, all I really had to do was apparently launch this game called Erase Her. No main menu, no title, nothing at all. You're literally in the game the moment you click on it. I'm smelling nothing but good old quality mobile games here. So unlike Rescue Store where we had to choose a solution to keep the scene going, here we actually have to delete part of the scene to keep it going. So this game really wants me to delete this chair for some reason. Fine, you'll get your chair deleted. There, it's gone now. Are you happy now? Oh, I see. Her clothes were underneath the chair that we could not see under for some particular reason or another. But now that she's out of bed, she put her clothes on, everything's fine, right? Nope, apparently there's still more to do and because I'm so dumb, I have to take a free hint. All right, game. Go ahead and give me your hint. Oh, I see. We're gonna delete this so she hides behind the curtain, obviously. That makes perfect sense. I mean, never mind the fact that there's feet popping out from underneath the curtain. That's not a, you know, telltale sign that somebody's back there. So here comes the angry girlfriend nagging the boyfriend so much, even though he's the one being unfaithful. So how are we going to help this situation out? Oh, I see. We're going to turn the lights off by deleting the light. Oh, <laughs> classic. Obviously, she didn't hear somebody just run out of her room right now. Okay, so forget everything that we learned, that was just a tutorial, now we're in the real game. This is it. Our first scene, Pizza Girl Delivery. So, we're starting off here with this girl who apparently is in a very toxic relationship because her boyfriend seems to be so jealous, he literally locks her inside. Obviously, we the solution here would be to delete the lock. Well, that was a hard one, I know. I know. Nice try, babe. Maybe I can get this pizza for free. Well, what are you suggesting? I mean, this always works, right? Pizza delivery comes over. Can I get that for free? Here, let me go ahead and take my clothes off. She says, nope, sorry, that'll be $20, please. So she's not buying it. She's not interested in what she's pitching. Come to my room, I will get you the cash. Oh, you're gonna actually believe her now? First she takes her clothes off, now come into my room. I got the money over here. Also, this dog wants to possibly kill me. So it seems the solution is to... Ah, right. Give the dog a bone. Why tear the human into little teeny tiny pieces when you have your own little bone there? Everyone's afraid of the dog. Yeah, I wonder why. Wanted to kill me a while ago. Where did I put that money? Oh yeah, where did you put that money? In your semi dami mommy outfit here. Okay, so we're gonna help you find this money, right? Before we do that though, let's see if there's anything we could find here. Nothing back there. What about here? Oh, is your money in that safe? Is that what you're about to do? Crack your safe open to pay me? No, that was just apparently a hidden item. Good. I would say, you know, it's kind of a security issue if you just start cracking your safe open in front of a stranger. It's a fake window. Oh, she see? You should have run when you had the chance. This woman apparently has fake windows in her room. There's your money. Underneath the covers for some reason. A stack of hundred dollar bills. <laughs> what, you don't need... <laughs> you mean to tell me you don't keep stacks of hundred dollar bills underneath covers and all sorts of random places in your house? I do all the time. <laughs> Things are going well in the Falcon life, apparently. Alright, so, um, <laughs> I, I didn't read that because I was too busy laughing at the absurdity of this game. Um, what am I doing now? I don't know. Nope, okay, I'm just gonna delete items and maybe I'll luck out. I apparently have found ropes. So we're gonna tie her up. I see a chair, I see rope. Oh, I see we can delete the pizza now. Oh, I see. So you're gonna... Oh, the classic move. Oops. Oh, it seems you have food and all sorts of drinks and, you know, splatter on your shirt. Why don't you go ahead and take that off? Oh, I've seen plenty of films start this way. None of them probably appropriate for YouTube, but hey. Oh my. We can't let that clothing get stained. Here, why don't you go ahead and take it off, pizza girl? I gotta tell you. I never really had a pizza delivery job growing up, and if I had one and this happened, probably be my first and last day on the job. Much better. Well, I mean, she's happy about it. Something is a little off about this lady. Eggplant? See, the moment you put eggplant, though, you're kind of giving that person carte blanche to do whatever they want. The eggplant is an invitation to problems. You never eggplant somebody through text messages, I'm telling you. They know when you put an eggplant, it's all fair game. Well, apparently there's something off about her. What's What could be off about her? I got no idea, but... Oh! 
Clean the pizza, apparently she has ants. That's probably what's off about her. She keeps her place in a bit of a pigsty, so, you know, she's got an infestation of insects and bugs. That's not good. Oh, we have to look at the girl herself. Are we gonna take her clothes off now or what? I mean... Excuse me, I guess we are? What are we doing? <gasps> oh, no! There was something off about her. She's not really a her at all. Okay. I mean, I still gotta tell you. Pretty rocking body if that's not a her. Um, find the pizza girl, huh? So this man turned down- I mean, do you, are you still rocking the awesome bosom, though? I mean, where'd that go? Oh, I can delete the tree. How about that? Any items back here? No. No items at all. Surprising. Gee, I can't even tell where you probably have this girl hidden. Could it be in the fact that your trunk is over here yelling? Oh, there she is. All I really care about is if he's still rocking that awesome body. I'm tied up, help me. Oh my god, this guy's a, a monster. <laughs> he kidnapped her just for... Just to throw her into like a river and drown her? I guess there's not really too much money in kidnapping pizza delivery people, so you... All you take him for is apparently is to kidnap him and kill him. So I guess we have to delete the rock that's weighing her down. That's what that was after all. It was kind of sketchy at first, I couldn't really figure out what the hell it was, but... All it was was a way to weigh her down. So she's free now, perfect. We're still missing one hidden item. Not only did this individual honey trap us, kidnap us, try to kill us, but they also left a negative review about our performance as well. You have some audacity, my friend. Not only that, but aren't you kind of leaving a paper trail back to you? So, I mean, once people realize we're missing and dead and they start looking for me, they're going to probably come after you and be like, well, you kind of left this review, so obviously you were the last person to see them. It just seems like a terrible idea. I just would have been like, I don't know. Pizza never came. <laughs> that would have been my excuse to get away apparently with murder here. That's suspicious. Well, what can we do in order to rectify this? Oh, hidden item. Hidden items. Apparently some chips were in my phone here, keeping tabs on us. Well then, let's see. We're going to delete the review. That's all we're doing. How about call the cops with your phone? <laughs> it's just so absurd. You know, I could just call the police right now, let them know what happened. Instead, my main priority here, first and foremost, was to get my ass onto Yelp and make sure that negative review never happened. Well, that was a totally riveting story. How about we do another one? This one is apparently called Totally Normal Date. Super boring normal date, or is it? Try not to die. I mean, it's always a good incentive in life. Try not to die. Let's play that one. What do you got for us here? Help him feel welcome. What is it with this game and just apparently trying to trap people? It's like a reflection of the game in real life. It's how it got me. It trapped me here now. Now what you got to do is trap people within the game itself. So help them feel welcomed. I don't know, maybe by deleting the not welcome sign would probably be the thing. All right, so we still have the same girl. She's always behind everything. Come on in. Oh. <laughs> what happened to his shoes? That sting makes me want to puke. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me see if there's any hidden items over here. No. Is it just me or does he look like freaking Mulder from the X-Files as well? It's kind of tripping me out. Um, nothing hidden back there. What? I had to delete the good shoes to put them on him? I, I guess? I don't know how that makes any sense, but sure. What's wrong with him? He's allergic to... Oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> you're, you're dealing with Vampire Molder, obviously. He's allergic to the sun. Okay, so I guess we have to delete that so it doesn't... I mean, alright, hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can find a hidden item over here first. I would run right now, lady. I think, um... I mean, do we have to run? Apparently she's hiding, like, you know, objects of the beast over here as well. <laughs> Who's the real bad person here? I don't know, man. <laughs> She's got satanic symbolism apparently hidden behind curtains now. All right, Mulder, go ahead and take a seat. I mean, if he's a vampire, that, you know, garlic pizza might be a problem as well. I'm such a great host. He doesn't like garlic. Oh, he doesn't like the sun. He doesn't like garlic. I don't know, man. Do we have to leave the phone? Hold up, let me delete the phone. That was the solution, apparently. 
Well, what's the solution are we ordering? Oh, we ordered him instantly, mind you. Another pizza. I mean, I guess it makes sense. She is the pizza delivery girl after, all right? So if she would probably have a ton of them in her home, why not? Fine, whatever. We'll pop this open. <gasps> oh my God, he's, uh, he's roofied us. Feeling sleepy now, might just take a little rest. Where am I? I mean, aren't you home? That's the same symbol that was apparently in your place. Why would it be any different? <laughs> but we were right. Mulder is indeed a vampire. Not us, though. We just need to get out. But now Mulder has apparently... He's floating as well. I feel like he'd probably just catch up to us faster if he ran to, but apparently... Why are guys so weird on dating apps? <laughs> oh, so you invited him over. You also welcomed him in? Oh, good. Now we have the mummy here, too. <laughs> Any more universal monsters that wouldn't show up? I'm too young to die. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's the solution? No, no, I don't want the solution. I don't want the solution, I said. No! Oh! We set the mummy on fire. I was hoping there was something hidden underneath the mummy. Looks a little like my ex. I don't even want to know the type of person you're dating. It's all the universal monsters. Now from the mummy, we've gone to the werewolf. You know what? I, I guess the way to get rid of him would just delete the moon. Right? You delete the moon and he's suddenly no longer werewolf man. Nothing else hidden around here? Hope I didn't miss something with the mummy. Alright, there it is. Go ahead. Turn back into regular human self. Look better as the wolf. Apparently she's a furry as well. Oh, that's the solution right there. I'm gonna bash his head over that with that. Why? He was no longer a threat. He was no longer a werewolf. Get me out of here. All right, where well, she's apparently she's still running through the freaking castle. She just jumped over that little ledge. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's back along with his toe jam. <laughs> Making me sick. <laughs> I never really took uh, Dracula for one for having toe jam, but hey, um, that's not the solution there. The solution is apparently his feet. What do you got? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, she vomited up the garlic that she ate earlier from the pizza. That is, uh... Who made this game? Well, what kind of a solution is that? This is like an M. Night Shyamalan jam or something. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this one up here today with the affair. Sometimes love happens in all the wrong places. The wrong places apparently being your maid, perhaps? Help me clean up this place. Alright, how many hidden items do we have here? Does it even matter? I'm playing offline, so it probably doesn't even matter. I'm not going to get these rewards anyway. Let's just clean everything up over here. There it is. Looks nice and fresh now. Looking clean. It's like an ad for Mr. Clean, but now see, now you're filthy. I don't want him to see me like this. You better not make some sort of inappropriate response or comment over here, my friend. Like, oh, you're very filthy. Better get you out of those clothes, huh? <laughs> Twitter is going to have a field day with you if you do. Well, um, you don't want him to see you that way, huh? How about a spatula? <laughs> That'll solve the problem. Seven items hidden in this one. Oh, God. Spatula's not going to get it done, though. So, just delete... Okay, good. Just delete the... The, the stains. It's going to be like, is her issue here going to be just to get naked in front of him? Well, I don't want him to see me this way. Might as well delete my clothes off. What do we have to do here? I wish she would look at me differently. Hmm. You wish she would look at you differently. As in, without the maid stuff? Alright. I mean, I'm not sure what kind of getup this is. It feels like you have a wife beater over your regular sh shirt here, but hey. Help change the mood. So you're coming on to your boss now is what's happening here, right? Oh man, this has disaster written all over it. We're gonna change the mood here by turning off the lights. Oh yeah. Now he's saying nice and dark. Oh, and that's what led to the tutorial at the start. Which is where your bra was. Your bra is apparently underneath over here. We already know that. But see, in this scenario, we could actually see it underneath the chair while in the tutorial you couldn't for some reason. That's weird. Help me hide. I hope she just leaves. <laughs> the lady of the house, I hope she just leaves. She's making, she's making this affair that we're trying to have very difficult right now. Anything hiding there now? No. Excuse me? Why do I have to lead her close? Is she gonna join in suddenly or what? 
No, okay, so the, the solution was not to hide her earlier clothes. Well, we do know that apparently we have to turn this off for us to sneak out. That was a close one. Reveal the truth. So we're not in the woods yet, are we? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my friend. You're in trouble now. Cheaters always cheat. I mean, you're no better yourself. You propagate this entire situation. You lured the man in. Protect myself. I mean, I want to help her out because you're the home wrecker here. <laughs> All right. Well, um. <gasps> but apparently, she's going to kill us. I mean, it'd be a crime of passion. So, I guess what we got to do here is drop this on her head. Still feel terrible at helping this woman out. <laughs> Let me light up your life? Oh, because you dropped the light on her. I thought you were going to go back to the bedroom and continue your, your fornication ways. I feel like you do not have enough. All right, what do we got here? Oh, I found money. So on the way out, after, you know, breaking her home, her happy marriage apart, we're also going to steal from them too. Good. I like how this game's teaching us some very core values of life here, you know? Children, just be aware. This is how you do it. There's our escape right there. Perfect. Guess I'm fired. Yeah, I guess you lost your job. Imagine that. Okay, it's time for us to wrap it up here with this quality, quality game called Eraser. Let's see this money that I have. Could I buy anything? I could buy outfits. Big surprise there. Except the outfits are super freaking expensive. So if you're like me and you play offline, good luck. <laughs> good luck unlocking anything. Erasers. Oh, there's cute little erasers though. Oh, there's an eggplant eraser. I kind of want that eggplant eraser. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.